Hey Jackals, in this video I'll show you how to quickly and easily stylize the text and how to change the text font inside DaVinci Resolve by using only the edit page and I'll also show you a few of the downsides and how you can animate the text. Now let's get digital. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go to the effects, enable them, click on the magnifying glass, type in text and use the text, don't use text plus. Put it onto the timeline. And once it's on the timeline, enable the inspector, change the text to what you want. Then once you have the text, you'll simply select a section of it, change the font to what you want. You can also change the color. You can also change the tracking, but tracking in this case affects the whole line. As you can see, it doesn't affect just this part, it affects this part as well. And you can also adjust the line spacing, but in this case, the line that is selected, the lines below it will get affected. So in this case, the last line will be affected. Now, when it comes to the color of the fonts, I've used this option. If you select it and then change the color of the text, the line will stay white, but the text will change. So this is something that you can use to your advantage if you need to. Now when it comes to the animation, you can't animate anything, the only thing that you can do is maybe adjust the fade in and the fade out, because any animation that you do will animate the whole text. So if I want to animate the angle, as you can see it animates the whole text, not the part of the text that is selected. So if you do want to animate the text, you can use the text plus node, but it does have a downside. What's the downside? Well the downside is with the color it changes the color of the whole text. You can't specific, you can't specify, you, you can't change anything about the, you can't change anything just about, you can't change, you can't change part of the text. You can't change just the part of the text. As you can see, everything changes, but the animation can be done for individual letter or word. It also has a built-in write on function and if you want to type something in manually, you can do so. So maybe I want to say custom title, out keyframe this, type something in or maybe not. Go to frames for word. Well, now I would type something in, so maybe custom title example. So I type in E. And now I have an animation. As you'll see, the animation does look a little bit different. This one is just written on and this one looked like it was typed on. And that's basically it. If you want to make simple text animations, you'll be using the text plus in the edit page. But if you do, you won't be able to change individual letters or words. So you can't change the text or the color. So for that, you'll be using the text. And in this case, you'll be able to change individual letters or words, how you like it, and you can also change the font style to what you want. And that's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content, and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss my next video. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.